Okay, so other than I guess I on the twenty fifth I just reached five months of taking testosterone. Other things are happening because I'm growing up. Um, I have a brand new car that I bought myself and I'm making payments for. I pay my own health insurance now. I'm paying all my bills. I pretty much feel very grown up. And then on top of that, finally going through the transition that I've been probably going through a while ago. I guess since I had my first memories, I always felt like I was a boy. And I, I knew I was, but my body told me otherwise, or what I saw. And I can remember back to, my parents split up when I was almost three years old, um, when I was really little, because I was just, you know, kids ask a lot of questions, and I was like, hey, mom, and this, this is like when I guess I believed in God, I said, did, did you ask God for me to be your little girl? And she said, not thinking about the question, she said, oh, yes, of course, honey. Like, I prayed every single day for you to be the little girl. And I said to her, it's your fault. And my mom, she relayed this message to me and told me about this whenever I came out to her transgender. And I was like, I remember that. And she was like, yeah, you told me this. I didn't think anything of it. But yeah, you were, like, devastated and told me it was my fault and, like, ran to your room and cried. And that brought back, like, all these, like, flashbacks and memories that I had. When I was a kid, I would pr go to sleep, and before I went to sleep, I would pray to God that I would wake up in the body that I was supposed to have. Pray that I was a boy in the morning. And I did that for a very long time. And then I guess once I hit middle school, my mom convinced me that, yeah, maybe it's better to just try to dress girlier, dress at least tomboy, so that I could just fit in. And it was the most awkward experience. I, you know, all the girls were like, oh, blah, blah, and I would have to look at them and act like, oh, okay, this is how I have to be, and like, want to feel this way, and want to feel like, oh, okay, this, this is how I'm supposed to be. So I literally felt like I had to watch, and I learned so much from women, which I think helps me now, like, talk to them, but I had to become a woman that I never should have been, and that's kind of like, most of my life. So I brushed it under the rug in middle school, and it like, it always popped out here and there, and when I hit high school, I was like, you know what, I know I've liked girls for forever, at least I can come out and say that I, I like girls, you know, like, that'll be the first step or whatever, and I guess I got lost because I covered it for so long. I just, I've always felt very, just more man, like, if I was born the right way, I definitely wouldn't be super masculine, I, I would be in some sense, but I think I'd be still, like, on a, like, an androgynous kind of scale in a way I guess but I would you know feel extremely you, you more at home I'll have to take testosterone for the rest of my life okay yeah um because it, it'll reverse I, well I mean if I had like a hysterectomy or whatever I don't think I'd have to take as much as t testosterone but it would have to be for forever because um I don't have you know like testicles that ad submit or administer testosterone through the body so it has right. to be through that. It's kind of like, you know, just even if a, a cisgendered male were to have testicles or some kind of like hormone issue, but they had it, they would have to take it for the rest of their lives too. Um, and that doesn't bother me too much because I mean, I've been on Adderall for God knows how long and it's like, okay, whatever, I just have to remember it, put it in my routine. Um, but the transition is there's like actually things online where you can look at, it tells you kind of like the scale of like when this will happen when this this will happen blah 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 like kind of uh to yeah august 25th so august 25th I yeah it. probably like i want to say first three months but not that deep okay. i have recordings of it kind of like uh for the second month third month and fourth month so i probably have to record another one but um yeah and then like I, I also noticed like within these times like my within the first probably month or two body fat distribution like, my hips started going away. That was probably one of the first things I noticed. And my butt got so much smaller. Like, it was just, like, out of nowhere. I was just like, oh, okay. They say that will fully develop. It'll be about five years, like, until I'm fully developed. Same with, like, beard growth and everything like that. So it's kind of like I'm going through puberty, basically, all over again. Right now I'm 26. I just turned 26 January 19th. It's affecting anyone besides yourself. Yes. It's affecting um, my partner. Uh, she's been very, very supportive the entire time, but if I were in her shoes, I would completely understand. I mean, I, under I don't understand, but mm -hmm. if my partner were to be changing their gender, even though if it was their original gender that they should have been and they're just coming to tell me this, it would, you know, it would be very different. I, I, wouldn't, I, would, I would have um, 
issues with trying to, I, like, identity issues. I would try to figure out, well, who am I, you know, and stuff like that. But she's been very supportive and um, probably way more loving than anyone else could, ever could be. So, And same with my family. I'm, like, very lucky, very fortunate. I've always been that way. So when I first started taking testosterone, um, I was super excited when I got home. And the first day that I took it, I was kind of anxious. And I had done so much studying about, like, what it's going to feel like and all this other stuff. And I probably, I think I almost had, like, an anxiety attack the day, the first day that I took it. I want to do research before I get into it. Because I'm, I'm a Capricorn, like, straight, like... I'm very much Capricorn, so I want to be prepared. So that's what I did. I took it, and the first day I was super, had a lot of energy. Um, it could have been nervous energy too, because I was just like, you know, I started taking hormones. It's like kind of serious. It's not like taking Adderall or or smoking weed. It's like it's your hormones. So um, I took that, and I had like a burst of energy. Um, and then for two weeks, I was just kind of like wondering when stuff would happen. And after those two weeks, you know, I kind of just be like, I was told myself to chill out. It was like, okay, so I guess I can uh, explain it back to the best way I can compare it to is whenever I was 14, even go through puberty the first time, you know, when you're, you're basically like turned on almost all the time and you're like, what is this? I don't understand. And it's like, it takes a minute until you're like, oh, okay. So things are happening and this is how all, all humans should feel and what, what they're feeling and stuff like that. You're just going through whatever your body's meant to be going through and whenever it happened to me this time it was just like that but since I already knew kind of what that feeling was it, it wasn't as like weirded out but at the same time it was like tenfold it was way more I was like way more turned on and it was just to the point where I was just like you just you just had to go and fix it because it was just like it just doesn't go away like it was it wasn't like the way in my female body at the time it, it could be different for everyone because like I met people with completely different libidos like men with low ones women with very high ones but like at this time like um when I was younger like I mean or when I was 14 it was like I was able to kind of like just put her shit aside and be like oh, okay well I'll just wait until I get home whatever fix it if I'm still whatever and then I would forget about it but like when it was happening then for that like first couple of months it lasted I couldn't control myself and I had to like go take care of it in the bathroom or something like no lie like I just I had never, and I read about it too, like all these FTMs saying, oh, you won't even be able to control it. Like you won't even know, like you're going to have to like, da 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 And I was like, oh, that's, that's not true because mine's not really that high. But like once I started taking this, I was like, oh my God, they're so right. Like it, it just, it, it's hard to explain. But I mean, I, I mean, I consider myself kind of lucky in that like respect too, because it's, it's very interesting to know what, because not many people, I mean, not that anyone really wants to know, but it's kind of interesting to know that what you would be like both male and female mm -hmm. in uh, one lifetime, and that's mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Ever since I think I started growing breasts, I had a plan to get rid of them. I, you know, like when I was younger, I guess what I would told, tell my friends, like, oh, I just want smaller ones, you know, before I came out and stuff like that. Oh, I just don't want them the, the, that big because I play sports, blah, blah, blah. But I know so many women who play sports that have probably, like, way bigger boobs than I do, and they're, like, cool with it. You know, it's just, I, that's another thing that, like, you know, I knew in the back of my mind. I just don't want them. So that's definitely something I'm going to do. I've been saving up for top surgery. So that's that's a definite. Um, as far as bottom surgery, I'm just not as comfortable with changing my feelings down there because I mean even with top surgery you I think you lose about 70% of your senses even in your nipples and like I mean yeah that'll that'll suck but um it'll suck more if I did that for like bottom surgery I'd rather keep that like feeling because they have that but also it's not even from what I've researched I, I've never met anyone that had it done, but whatever, it might be outdated what I've researched, but it's not realistic enough, to, in my opinion, to go through all that and still not have feeling, like, down in that area. So I probably won't do that unless maybe 10 or 15 years from now, even 20 years from now, like, they've updated the surgery and it's completely functional and not dangerous and I don't lose that much feeling. I probably would, but as for right now, no as much pictures or as much notice as a lot of FTMs do, like, or that I've noticed. Explain it, what FTM is. Oh, female to male transition. Um, and what they're doing, I guess, what I've noticed, I mean, some, not everyone does, but they're very, like, meticulous about trans uh, or recording their transitions and uh, taking pictures of, like, 
every week or every day. And I started out with that plan in mind. But while I was going through it, I realized I don't want to take a picture. Like some people take pictures or videos of things, but you're not actually in it. You realize if you go to a concert and you just film the whole time, you weren't actually watching the whole thing. So I feel like me not doing that as much I'm experiencing the um puberty that I was supposed to go through naturally and people don't do that when they go through their normal puberties they just go through it so that's what I've decided to do and no one says oh wow this is the third zit that I've had this week you're like oh wow look at this little hair growing in they're just like oh shit okay let's shade this okay mm -hmm, okay and then they're just going to school it's just it's it's gonna give a really good normal mentality in, in your mind. Yeah, exactly. It's, I, it's it's a healthy transition. I agree. Like, I mean, I thought it was exciting to record all this stuff, but also I didn't want to disrupt the natural order of how it, like, should have been, and I don't want it to be in the future of me remembering that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want to have all these things, and I, I just want to feel that, oh, I finally grew up how I was supposed to be and become who I have always should have been. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And everyone has their own experience and their own opinions and stuff, and that's completely fine, but that's this is just, I guess, who I am. My birth name was Tara, and it's spelled T-A-R-R-A. A lot of female-to-male transition, um, they changed their first name to, obviously, a more masculine name, but I, I've come across a few but I don't want to say goodbye. I'm so attached to my original name, so I didn't want to change it that much, so I just go by kind of Tear, which my mom and a lot of close friends call me anyways, um, and then I just spelled it differently. Instead of T-A-R-R-A, -R -R -A, it's T-E-R-R-E. -R -R -E.